Hello and welcome to Emerald Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things RC and crafts. Uh, today we're going to be uh, talking about the uh, Cub S uh, from uh, Hobby Zone. Uh, this is a Horizon Hobby product. Um, and I purchased this last year for indoor flying and I'm beginning to uh, set up our um, uh, indoor flying equipment. Uh, we fly in a gym during the winter time. So what I did was I brought out the old DX6i. I was using my Tyrannus before, um, but uh, with the Tyrannus it was um, mainly I use it for outdoor flying, and I got an awful lot of models programmed on there. So and mainly for indoor flying, there's a lot of bind and fly, small, small products. So I don't need uh, the oomph of a Tyrannus uh, just to do indoor flying. So I have the DX6i here, and I have my Cub S and I'm doing my binding, it's binding well. What I'm having a problem with, and that I'm hoping that uh, you can help me with, is I can't get this into intermediate mode following the uh, instructions uh, from Horizon Hobbies. So let's go over what I've done, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, find a solution to this problem. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, for anybody that has a solution, uh, you can get back to me on my, uh, via YouTube. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to connect up the um, uh, Cub S and show that we got a connection. And gotta wait for the little light to uh, get ready. And you gotta hold it level in order to get it uh, into the signal. And it's binding, binding very well. The problem comes in as I have, and I'll go over the programming in detail, but I have the, um, the gear switch and the mix switch. Those are the two that are programmed, as well as the flap switch. Now, if I uh, put the gear from 0 to 1, it's supposed to go into intermediate mode. And you notice here, uh, oh, i got to turn the throttle on a bit to get it to activate. Now it's activated. So you can see here that I'm in beginner mode and you can see that the ailerons, as I'm tipping, it's trying to correct itself, which is what you expect when you have full, uh, full um, stabilizing mode on. Uh, when I turn it into um, intermediate mode, it, it goes to nothing. It goes to advanced mode. Uh, there is no deflection on the, any of the control services. When I go from zero on gear uh, to one on gear, which according to the instructions is intermediate mode, it goes into advanced mode. And then when I flick the, the uh, mix switch on, there's absolutely no difference. Uh, the, uh, what we call the old crap switch, it works fine. That's programmed on craps. Uh, it's in full stabilization mode. Uh, but it's the intermediate mode that I don't appear to me that it's working, um, and uh, we'll just go back here. The mix is to zero, the gear is to zero, we got full stabilization. I'm going to turn it into intermediate mode and start deflecting, and I'm having no, there's no changes in my ailerons, my rudder, uh, or my elevator. So, um, what we're going to talk about is how are we going to get, if someone who can help on how do we get intermediate mode, and, um, and I'll explain what I did on the instructions. So, I'll unplug that. Now, here we go. Here's the setup. I'm just going to make sure I get... Okay, so here's my Cub S. I started out with a clean uh, model. Uh, so there was nothing else programmed in it before. It wasn't an old one that I, that I reused. And uh, I followed their instructions. And the first thing is to set gear to reverse. Down here to uh, setup list, reverse. And you can see there that gear is reversed. The next thing that it has on the instructions is um, uh, set travel adjust. Um, travel adjust. And we're going to go into travel adjust. And we're going down to gear, and it is saying uh, travel adjust gear, 
uh, F mode zero is 100%, and it is 100% at uh, at, uh, at zero, and then it has um, uh, F mode one. It is 40%, and I have programmed to 40%. And the next thing on the instructions is set the flaps. That's for the old crop switch. And that is, uh, up position is 100 under norm, and land is down 100. And that just sets the extremes of the switch. That's done. The next one is to go into the mix. And I have my gear to gear uh, ACT, which is active. Rate is set to D. And the rate D is 0%. And the U for up is 100%. SW mix is trim inhibit. And that's all the instructions that are there. Uh, there's nothing else in here. There's no, there's no uh, second mix. And there's no differential set, uh, just to make sure flaps, sub trims, travel adjusts are what we already talked about. Dual rate expo is all 100%. And just to show that there's nothing else set up in it. Uh, now, when we go into the monitor, I'll just drop in there for a sec. You notice that when I have the have my switches on, it is over on the far right. And then when I turn it on, it goes not quite to the midpoint. And then when I turn on F mode, it goes down a little bit more to the left. I'm not, I'm almost certain that that's probably where the problem is, that these adjustments aren't quite correct. But um, I don't know what they should be. Uh, so probably that's what I'm thinking where the problem is. And what else? Reverse. We all reverse the gear. Throttle cut is, uh, I have it set on to the switch. The wingtail mix, uh, inhibited. Dual rate combo, inhibited. Timer, doesn't matter. Range check, power settings. Modulation type, contrast, and adjust list. So there you go. That is the uh, all my setup. And you can see that there is no intermediate mode on this bad boy. We have beginner mode. And we have advanced mode. Nothing in between. And we have the we have the old crap switch. So anyway, uh, anybody who uh, has some suggestions uh, can get back to me. I'd appreciate it very much. Stock DXI. This is from Horizon Hobbies uh, and the uh, Horizon Hobbies um, Cub S. Um, I'd appreciate any help. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this, say like. I will definitely put the answer to this problem when I find one. If I find one, I will add an addendum to this, uh, to this video explaining what the solution is. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time at Everyone Meadows. Bye-bye for now.